We're in a new chapter, chapter 6. This is all about subtracting two-digit numbers. We're going to be subtracting tens. We can use basic subtraction facts to subtract tens from two-digit numbers. If 5 minus 3 equals 2, that means 50 minus 30 equals 20. We have zeros in the ones place, and we do 5 minus 3 is 2. So we have two tens and zero ones. 5 tens minus 3 tens equals 2 tens. We just think 5 minus 3 equals 2. We can find the differences and use 10 models to help us. Let's look at the first one here. We've got 6 tens minus 2 tens. That means 60 minus 20. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens here. If we take 2 of these away, 1, 2, how many tens do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. We think 6 minus 2, well that's 4, so 6 tens minus 2 tens is 4 tens. That means 60 minus 20 is 10, 20, 30, 40. 4 tens is 40. See? Let's try that again. We've got 4 tens minus 3 tens. We have 4 tens here. That's the same thing as 40 minus 30. If we take 3 of these tens away, 1, 2, 3, we're only going to have 1 ten left. Four tens minus three tens is one ten. We just think four minus three equals one. See? So forty minus thirty, well that would be one ten, wouldn't it? It would be a one zero for a ten. See? Let's try another one. We've got five tens minus one ten. We have five tens here. We want to take away one ten. It's the same thing as 50 minus 10. We have four tens left, and four tens equals 40. 50 minus 10 is 40. Let's try one more. We have seven tens minus three tens. We have seven tens here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want to take three of them away. One, two, three. That's going to leave four tens. Seventy, that's seven tens, minus thirty, that's three tens, equals four tens, which is forty. Wasn't that easy? Let's try some critical thinking. Do you remember from chapter four when we were working with dimes and money? Remember, each dime is 10 cents, isn't it? If each of these is 10 cents, that means we have five, six, seven, eight tens. Eight dimes minus five dimes would be how many dimes? Eight dimes is 80 cents, that's eight tens, and five dimes would be 50 cents. If we took five of these dimes away, we could take these five away, right? All we have left are three dimes. 80 cents minus 50 cents, three dimes is 10, 20, 30, that'd be 30 cents. All right. Let's try one last one. We have seven dimes minus two dimes. That would be 70 cents minus 20 cents. That's seven tens, because each dime is a ten. So that's 70. That's 
two tens because each dime is a ten, that's twenty. If we have seven dimes and take two of them away, we could take these two away, couldn't we? We're just left with five dimes. Seventy cents minus twenty cents would be, do you know? Fifty cents. If you said fifty cents, you got it right. So just remember, dimes are ten. Okay? So that's subtracting tens. It's very easy. We just think of subtracting ones, and it's got a zero at the end. All right? We're going to move on, and we're going to use some hundred boards to help us subtract tens so we can see how to count back. All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.